Hello and welcome to another episode. Uh, thanks for all the comments to Sunday's uh, Kira Electric News video. Uh, and they've been most helpful in me trying to decipher what the heck is going on with this ICCU recall and how to mitigate. But I've found some extra information that I discovered over the weekend. In the comments, um, reducing charging current on the 11 kW AC charging may not have as much impact on EU and UK cars as the US ones. US 11 kilowatt charges at a higher amperage, potentially causing more heating of the ICCU uh, when it does the 110 to 800 volts conversion in the ICCU. Also, um, I've been going through all of the recall documentation on both Hyundai and Kia. When I've compared the US Hyundai and Kia recall notes, they differ in the amount of detail. The Hyundai one has more detail. So in the Hyundai Part 573 Safety Recall Report 24V-204, um, an item I'd missed previously is that um, the Hyundai document is the estimated vehicles with a defect, which they say is 1% of 98,878, which is 988 vehicles. But I'll come back to that later. Um, the cause in the Hyundai document, the ICCU internal componentry can become damaged due to various conditions such as an overcurrent over voltage induced at the end of high voltage battery charging. So the end of AC charging, I would guess, is having this little glitch. And certain thermal loading during operation or driving. So that potentially clarifies things a little bit, but I'll come back to that later. The remedy. The remedy ICCU software presents overcurrent and implements voltage peak reduction at the end of EV battery charging. The Remedy software also revises the electric water pump operational threshold to reduce thermal loading during charging and driving. And now I've, I've mentioned before this may be similar to the way the EV9 has been fixed recently, but it's got a different ICCU and slightly different hardware, I think. Whereas the Kia safety recall document says something much less detailed. They also say 1% vehicles affected, so that out of 48,232, 482 would be affected. But again, I'll come back to that in a bit. Kia's remedy notes say the integrated charging control unit may become damaged over time from transient high voltage and thermal cycling. A damaged ICCU may not be able to charge the 12 volt battery, which can discharge gradually whilst driving with progressive reductions of motive power. Again, I, I think I've covered this in Sunday's episode. And then there's a note underneath, how does Remedy differ from previous version? The improved ICCU software decreases thermal loading and lowers peak voltage during operation to mitigate damage to the ICCU. So no mention of the electric water pump change, which is a bit strange. You think being part of the same group and using the same equipment, they'd get the house in order and agree on something. But there must be completely different teams of people writing these things. Right, that leads me to change my potential mitigation advice. So. 1% of the total number of recall vehicles, both Kia and Hyundai, is 1,471 vehicles. I would say that that is a very low risk of an ICCU failure occurring based on this additional information. But how the hell do they know it's only 1%? Unless they've got something they're not telling us. I also noticed in the Hyundai requested chronology of events leading up to decision document, it says October 20, 2022 to March 2023, beginning in October 2022, HMC, which is Hyundai Motor Company, began examining ICC warranty returns from various markets and noted heat damage on the low voltage converter field effect transistors, which is a FET, a FET, of the ICCU assemblies equipped in certain Hyundai and Genesis electric vehicles. So my question is, is this actually a bad batch of filled defect transistors in the ICCU? And from the Kia document, it says they don't know which bins are affected. So who knows? So that's why they're all being recalled and software being updated. What does the extra Hyundai information tell us? One, the ICCU internal curb componentry can become damaged due to various conditions such as overcurrent or over voltage induced at the end of high voltage battery charging, which I would guess means AC charging. Two, it also mentions certain thermal loading during operation of driving. Three, the electric water pump threshold changing in the update is also interesting. So does that mean we should limit the amount of 12 volt stuff we have switched on whilst driving? 
So for example, if we add music on, and all heated seats turned up to the max, heating steering wheel on, and we're running highway drive assist, and that was engaged, would this cause more heating up of the 12 volt low voltage DC converter, FET, in the ICCU and cause it to fail? Maybe, who knows? So is it even worth trying to mitigate against a 1% failure rate? Don't know. As of yet, EU and UK recall has not showed up yet for Kia, Hyundai or Genesis vehicles. And also the US recall TSB has also not showed up anywhere yet. Anyway, that's just my quick update and those are my thoughts. So feel free to comment if you know anything or um, you've got any more questions. Thank you for watching.